Hello there everybody, my name is Master Alpha. So it's time to play another game of Planetary Annihilation. Today we have a 3 vs 3 vs 3 for you guys today, and you may be wondering, hey, wait a minute, Master Alpha, how could there be a 3 vs 3 vs 3? There's only five different colors. Well, my friends, one army is gonna be sharing, and our army is also gonna be sharing, and my team over here aren't going to share armies at all because I kinda like my personal space. Anyway, let's go on ahead and spawn. My allies can spawn over there, and oh, I didn't choose a spawn point. Well, Let's see what God has chosen me. And it would be that area. There we go. And we've met an enemy. Ah! There's that bad guy afoot. Run, friend, run. Oh, I gotta walk all the way over here just to get a max. That sucks, dongs. Hopefully I don't get completely stomped. Oh, friend. Let's build the towers. Oh, what is he building? What, what are you constructing? Oh, okay. I didn't see the second laser defense in this tower go up. Oh, he's stopping the construction of his wall and then going into the second laser defense tower. Yeah, that's really bad. Oh, look at how much damage he took. 54. He wasn't even firing during that entire engagement. Just dip, man, just dip. The, right now, the problem with purple would be the fact that those infernos could just walk right in and destroy his entire base. And now the single laser defense tower is firing at his single laser defense tower. Ugh, that's not good. I feel bad for purple. It's a problem with the maps like uh, maps like this. It's just it's really, really small. You know what's funny? We're playing on a size 400, so just keep that into perspective. Alright, hold on a second. I think I can get some doxes out and try to overwhelm green really quick. The reason why I'm building doxes is because I won't be able to get there in time with ants. Like, ants are probably terrible for this situation. Also, the map is insanely, insanely small. And from what I've learned about small maps, it's this. Um, when you have almost no space at all to actually expand and become a giant sprawling octopus, you really do need to get out doxes because, I mean, let's be honest here, they will outmaneuver ants if they're in close quarters combat. If they're in long range combat, the ants will win. This just sucks. Oh crap. Oh crap, look at my ally. No. This is crap, this is crap, this is crap. I gotta make sure not to get completely stomped over here by Boombot. Do I even have a radar up? Yes, I do. Okay, that's good. He's gonna go orbital, that's fine. I'm gonna chase these guys down with doxes. I can't believe I'm using doxes. This is just sacrilege at this point. Oh, when in doubt, spam doxes, you know. Radar sees nothing right about now, so that's good. Remember, there is another team we have to worry about, so it's not just these guys. How's the moon doing anyway? It's a lot of mexes, so we should try to get that as soon as possible. But I gotta go up north and Try and take out Green's hegemony over there. Um, should I tell him I'm recording? Maybe he only cares if this is live or something. Which I guess makes sense. Ooh, that's not looking good. <laughs> sorry! I'm so sorry! Oh, I feel like a douche. Alright, guess it's power plant. We are hemorrhaging on metal quite a bit. Oh, fuck. Why is there so little metal in this area? Just like, God, why are all these maps terrible for metal? Hey, you know what? I'm going to go deal with the green over there. Hey. Oh, God, ants. Oh, wait. They're coming in close. 
Come on, maybe I can outmaneuver them. What the hell? You got fire in the water? Well, I never knew that. You see, this is how little I use doxes. Yeah, back off, man. Back off. I don't want this guy to die one bit. Did you try to reclaim my mechs, fool? Who you think you're doing? Huh? Who, who you think you are? Coming in here, stealing my mechs. I gotta, I gotta get a surplus of doxes and try to destroy these ants. Again, problem is, is probably eco. Eco is just shit. They're sharing armies, which means sharing economies, which means I could be dead in a little bit. And they have a way stronger economy to actually spam out stuff. Orange, I need you to maybe do something a little bit drastic. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him to go kill the commander up north, I'll do with the commander to the east. It doesn't really matter how many commanders we kill because they have three in total. I'm gonna have to kill all three in order to actually end their entire reign of terror. He's getting more good. Scout him. Fair enough. This should be fixed out once I get out these mexes up and running. Not mexes, but metal. He's in more hummingbirds. I'm trying to help him out a little bit more. There doesn't seem to be a lot of stuff, but let me just go ahead and send in another air squadron. Do do do. Yeah, right over there, on the outskirts. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Bam. One down. Nice. Good shit. Go ahead and build the turret. Single laser defense tower and missile tower. Uh, I gotta keep my baby purple alive. <laughs> purple, don't worry, I'll save you. Oh crap. You're still able to attack. This is what you get for not paying attention. You lose your fabricators. Oh well. I got a massive duck swarm over here. Backed up by ants. Purple's gotten out of the planet. Great. <laughs> I want the moon in our hands. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and stop him destroying that radar. There we go. God, hummingbirds are here. Do, do, do. Marching in with my units. Do, do, do. I'm gonna need backup. Holy shit, there's any more reinforcements. This is not fun at all. There's the commander for red. You go ahead and kill the fabricator somewhat. Any 
need more reinforcements. Good, good, good. Get me. Fuck. Yeah, ditch it then. Honestly, if we can't take it over easily, then we should just probably ditch it. Alright, I need you. Need him a lot more alive and dead. Fuck. Purple's out. No, this one. Go ahead and build it astray us right about now. Holy. Holy crap. I have not gotten any knowledge. Well, not astray us in Orbital Deep Space Radar because I haven't gotten any knowledge on green whatsoever. Time we also build up bone bees once again. Well, hmm, it's on the moon. Focus on red now. Oh, homie birds. Crap, 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 crap. Right, hold on a tick. Let me just zoom all the way down. Try to check out and see what red's up to. Umbrella right over here, defending my base against any pesky anchor attacks. It would probably be best case scenario to take out red. Sorry, I'm purple. God, Eco has been dead. So fucking dead. Yeah, I have to get energy plants. Energy plants and fucking maxes. Both of them. It's absolutely insane. Well, thank God we have a massive boombox strategy here. And it looks like a lot of... Uh, what was it? Green's armed forces are kind of dead at the moment. Okay, build your umbrella. Good. You know what? Go ahead and do it. Do it. I dare you. I triple dog dare you. Triple dog dare you. Oh fuck. Green's coming in.
Yes. This could be it. I'm just not able to do damage. Those ant spams that they got going on. Look at them, powerful. Yeah, these shared uh, fighting against shared armies is a little bit tricky sometimes because they do tend to destroy you if you're not careful. You know, since you know they're sharing an economy. Oh, I think this might be it. That's a lot of bombers. There's more hummingbirds than bombers. What do you think I was stacking up on? And they gotta have doxies. We shoot down air pretty well. Yeah, it looks like I'm out. These fuckers leave me alone. I'm holding back two armies. Green, red, green, red, green, red. Does it end? Oh, what a scrub. Commander over there being still alive is, is what killed me. I'm I I am probably out. There's nothing I can do. You know, if I p chose my spawn, I don't think I would have lost as badly as I did because I got hammered by just the fact that I had no mechs in the area. Granted, this is a really shitty map. Like, I mean, I don't know why people make really really sparsely populated mexes like this area well like this map oh and now I can't see the entire game no 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 I can right what I can't see red or that's dumb I can't see red purple Oh my god, look at that mech's advantage. Fucking A. Granted, that's for three players. Boom bot only strategy. It works actually very well in tandem with air. God, maybe if I went boom bots, we would have won. Actually, no way, but I was the one who killed most of the doxes and ants that let orange come in. I think it was our spawns. It was definitely our spawns. Granted, I didn't really see purple, I mean, not purple, red or green attack each other at all. It makes me believe, like, they were kind of against us. We got hamstring because of purple. I feel bad for purple, but purple made some really terrible decisions. Like, I mean, he could have won that, but he kind of went mom spaghetti, didn't build enough single laser defense towers, and he got hit way too hard by the enemy commander. He was at 56 when the commander was at 93. He didn't even fire at the commander. Granted, he was building up shit, but... It just goes to show you that, uh... Green's commander was ahead a little bit. Okay, so... Now it's kind of up to orange to actually... Kind of hold it all together. I don't know how he's gonna do it. May Gandhi help you. I tried telling purple to go orbital, but they already had orbital. So we were already hamstring. We had... Really shitty spawns, really shitty, uh, eco in general. This planet sucks dick. Oh my god, this area over here is a fucking gold mine. Why didn't I spawn over there? Why didn't I spawn over there? I feel really dumb. Got the two maxes, because a master of rawfulness needs to, like, act like a dumb dumb. 
It's also the problem with these like um spawn anywhere type maps. Cause then you can spawn right next to your enemy commander and go, hey, what's up? How's the economy? Just kind of touch each other. It's really dumb. Oh yeah, dance. Shake what your mama gave you. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. Look at this, they're adorable. They're like little death machines. Ugh. And there comes red and orange. I wonder what it's planet. It's probably to like suck the crap out of anybody who's on the moon. He already has one anchor. Anchor's not being shot down. He doesn't really need like five actually. But he uses or both these things radar. Ugh, sorry. Long day of archery. Oh, but without air vision. Oh no, this is gonna be really bad. Yeah, oh no. Oh, 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 baby, get the camera. No. No, he needed vision. He needed vision, he flopped that up. You need air vision. He should have took these guys. He should have took those two. He should, ah, that was really dumb because he could have won that. He wouldn't be able to maybe kill Red, but possibilities there. You actually can't make this Haley smashable, so Red's gonna have to figure out some way to kill Green. Where are Green's commanders, actually? I thought they were on the tele uh, moon base. What, they're not? If I could redo this entire um, fucking match, I would say, listen, let's have shared armies. I guess the, uh, like, non-shared armies are maybe at a little bit of a disadvantage because, yeah, you can control your own stuff and shit, but then you would be essentially fighting a three versus one. If like your other two allies are kind of in the indisposed of, so we were fighting a two versus six, which really does suck. I say six because even though we killed the commander, uh, he was still able to use his ally stuff and become useful. Our main man was purple, died. We also don't get the added benefit of like multiple commanders. I'm uh, giving us extra metal or energy. So yeah, I, I would say next time around, get shared armies because it gives you more eco and it allows you to survive a little bit longer even though you have no mexes. Uh, I mean, not no mexes, I know. I, I actually, yeah, it, it does allow you to survive a little bit longer with very little mexes or maybe even no mexes. It's a really dumb tactic. Like, I mean, one hummingbird, and then you lose two fabricators. And I wouldn't lose two fabricators. Granted, Orange is letting this happen because he's building spy planes. Oh. Yeah, the days of anchors being more powerful than Avengers have long passed. Well, there goes any hope of victory if we had any. T2 we couldn't get because we just had really shit economy. Shit. Like, just absolute garbage. Then I had to fight against red and orange with all my factories. And I had no eco to support these factories. But I was basically like, either I build these factories or I die. Should have gone tier 2, but I just couldn't because I just didn't have the eco. Red had the eco. Green had the eco. No, I didn't. We're just still chilling. Oh my god, this is so cool. Yeah, come on, all you need is vision. All you need is vision. If you can wipe out green. Yeah, there we go. That's all you need to. Just playing. I I don't understand. Oh whatever. What's going on here? 
couple power plants. Oh, friend, friend, friend. Purple lasers. Yeah. Life's not looking good for us. Seems like green was able to kill red. I don't know. Orange killed himself. Look at that economy. Look at this economy. Oh, brother. Green's last commander is up north. Surrounded by AA T1 units. Well, T1 AA. Now, here's the thing T2 AA flat hands are really good. T1, I don't think so. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh, there we go. Game, set, match goes to red. Now, I want to see something. What the fuck happened in this game? Because, I mean, there were a bunch of stupid shit. No, fuck off. Like, this was dumb. Let me just speed this up quite a bit. It was, oh. Yeah, he was building single laser defense tower, getting hit constantly by this dude. Walls were not helping him because he was so close to the enemy commander that he was still getting hit. He's already at 70 when this guy's at 98. He lost this one. Should have backed off. Red had all these maxes. He had three. At the start, I had two. This guy had two. Okay, but this guy, wow, we mama. He got about like. 20 400 whatever it might as well be counted as 400 compared to everybody else and you might be thinking oh but that, that's not that much to carry the team again shared economy which means all the mexes he makes over here are shared uh metal to this guy and to this guy over here as well as on top of this they're getting extra income due to the fact that they have three commanders he has two maxes as a couple again this planet was really dumb too like i mean wow i would have spawned over here if i can be honest or the water come with atlantis or something atlantis square pantis all right so then we got in a six minute or seven minute mark red had a massive advantage over us so let's see 30 mexes 30 mexes 44 Wow, we're at around 90 to 100 mechs, give or take, depending on if orange builds up a mechs or two later down the line. Holy shit, we are so behind compared to green over here and red, who's way, way, way past everybody. Wow, green and red never fall. On the moon they did, but directly against each other against their bases and shit never never so i have been fighting off against two armies green and red for the longest time while green and red were chilling out having some colonial wars on the red plant on the moon and then afterwards at the final bit of the entire game once i was killed and everybody else was then they started dealing with uh each other which kind of blows Whatever. How'd you win this battle, by the way? Ah! You were focused. He never focused his army. I get it. Well, we all know why we all lost. Anyway, my name is Cesar Alphys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.